This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything you have to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we start off with a place you don't only have to see, you have to hear. We all know Austin is the live music capital of the world, and when you go to the capital city, there's many venues you can go to. But there's one that's the granddaddy of them all. As the sun sets on the capital city of Texas, fans of the nightlife start coming out of the woodworks. Most head for 6th Street, but the experienced few drive right past those bright lights of Party Central and stop in historic Travis Heights to open their ears to something different at the Continental Club. Seven days and nights a week, you'll find live music taking center stage at the Continental Club, a tradition that's been going on since 1957. The major roads were paved, but it was pretty small town feel at that point. Diane Scott is the resident historian at the Continental Club, and she's worked here for 21 years. If it's happened here, she knows about it. They start asking questions of the bartenders or the waitresses, and everybody's busy, and they go, oh, you need to go talk to Diane. <laughs> Diane is passionate about the club thanks to a history she can relate with. Oh, it's definitely a step back in time. Absolutely. 57 years ago, back when the club first opened in 1957, it was a high-class private supper club opened by Moran Scott. It showcased musical acts like Tommy Dorsey, Glenn Miller, and a group out of Houston called the Mascots. One of the members of the mascots was Larry Hovis, otherwise known as Sergeant Carter on Hogan's Heroes. In the 1960s, the club took a risque turn as it became home to Austin's first burlesque. But by 1963, music was back on the main stage. As the 1970s got started, the club started really taking off with acts like Chris Christopherson and Buck Owens. By the 1980s, Stevie Ray Vaughan was putting his stamp on the city and sealing his legendary status at the Continental Club. There's a pretty long history of world famous musicians that have either played here or come here as their favorite place to be in Austin. Any night, you can run into a gamut of music. From blues, to a country crooner, to Texas legends, the derailers. We offer a high caliber of talent and uh, a great time in Austin. It's like time travel. Uh, you can go back and forth. When you leave out these doors, you back into regular time. But when you walk in here, everything's different. Lawrence Bell has been playing with the Blues Specialists for 28 years. Much of that time has been spent here at the club behind this piano. Sometimes I think the time went by so fast. I mean, like, I don't know if I'm having one of them moments where I forgot something along the way. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's something Lawrence has forgotten, it comes right back to him when he starts tickling the ivories. You're up on that stage, you, do you still feel like a young man? I never stop. <laughs> Listening to some Texas blues is always good for the soul, but if you want to break a sweat on the dance floor, on, just stick around a little bit. Steve Cordova has been coming here for 20 years, and in case you can't tell, he loves cutting a rug. I've been dancing about five years here. So. Oh, why'd you wait 15 years to dance? Because I didn't know how. <laughs> they have great music, great bands, great people, great dancers. Um, it's an Austin icon. We also have been proclaimed one of the best dive bars in America twice. And the Rolling Stone, that just last year, named us as one of the top 10 music venues in America. The Continental Club in Austin, 
a worthwhile stop on the Texas bucket list because... Well, you wouldn't be a Texan if you didn't. Continental Club is the most authentic place to listen to music in the city. Nothing else that touches it. It is absolutely world-class musicians. If you want to experience something that's a little more unique in Austin, I would say, or Texas, I would say this is it. It's beyond description. You've got to come and see it for yourself. All right, well, thank you so very kindly with the d rail It's got to be with you here at the Continental Club, ladies and gentlemen. The legendary Continental Club right down here on the South Congress in Austin, Texas.